Welcome to another video. So today we are talking about gaining weight on a whole foods plant-based diet or not losing any weight on a whole foods plant-based diet. If you don't already know, I myself follow a whole foods plant-based diet, meaning that I eat the majority of my calories. Well, they're all from plants, but the majority of them come from whole plant foods, meaning that the food is in its whole natural form, meaning that it's fruit or vegetables or nuts and seeds, beans, lentils, grains, starches, that type of thing, okay? That's the type of diet that I follow and that I promote. If you follow that or you've heard about it, or you've read about it, you might have come across, and maybe even you deal with this yourself, the whole issue of gaining weight when you're eating this way or the inability to lose weight. There's a lot of people who are hesitant about getting on a plant-based diet because they're thinking, oh my gosh, there's just so many carbs and um, I see these people gaining weight and they always talk about how they can't lose weight and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And so I just wanted to talk about today the top three reasons why this is happening and what you can do uh, to fix it if there's even anything for you to do. Let's just set the groundwork a little bit and focus on what is whole plant food. So it's like I just said, whole plant foods mean it is something that has not been processed or altered or anything in any way, okay? So you have a potato, that is a whole plant food. Like you go and you cook the potato and you eat the potato. That is completely different than potato chips. Regardless if they're organic, they're non-GMO, they're vegan, they're salt-free, they're sugar-free, they're what like sweetened with some type of thing from some crazy tree from the middle of Africa, it doesn't matter. That's still considered a processed food. It doesn't mean it's bad. I'm just saying I'm showing you the difference between whole versus processed. There are three different reasons why somebody might be gaining weight on a whole foods plant-based diet if you are actually legitimately eating a whole foods plant-based diet. And that's why I keep saying this because some people are like, I am, I'm eating it. And then you like tell them to send you a food diary, eating a ton of um, sugar poured on their smoothies. And then they're eating like, you know, fried stuff and all kinds of stuff. And it's like, they, that might be vegan food and that's great. Um, but don't complain about gaining weight, not being able to lose the weight that you want to lose for whatever reason, um, if that's what you're saying you're doing. Because that's not technically a whole food plant-based diet. That doesn't mean that's bad. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just trying to differentiate between the two, okay? So if you are actually following a whole foods plant-based diet, here's reason number one why you might uh, be gaining weight or not able to lose weight. You actually needed to gain weight, okay? There are so many people coming to a whole foods, plant-based, vegan type of lifestyle who are coming from a past of eating disorders, restrictions, bulimia, over-exercise, malnourishment, anorexia, all kinds of stuff. And they automatically think that when I start eating vegetables and fruits and potatoes and rice and beans and stuff like that, that I'm just going to stay skinny and stay thin and stay frail and stay you know, whatever you were before this. But like, that is still calories, okay? That is still food, it's still nourishment. And if you needed to gain weight, like if you came from that type of lifestyle, then you're naturally going to gain weight regardless of what you eat. It doesn't matter if you're eating the healthiest, most organic, like grown in the best soil type of fruits and vegetables. If you're eating that and you're eating that without restriction and you're eating that in abundance and you're eating that to satisfaction, then you're going to gain weight. It doesn't matter if you're eating that or you're eating Snickers or you're eating Rice Krispie treats. Like if you need to gain weight, you're going to gain weight at some point, okay? So that's really the big one. A lot of people just think, why am I gaining weight? Like I'm eating just fruits and vegetables. Well, you most likely probably needed to gain weight, especially if you have seriously messed up your metabolism by eating super low calories. You've been doing tons and tons of exercise for years or months or weeks or whatever you've done a bunch of fasting, you've done a bunch of, you know, different like diet pills and yo-yo diets and all types of stuff, your body needs a chance to just heal and chill out. And that's what it's trying to do. So when you feed it this type of food, you're going to naturally gain weight. And that is a good thing. Okay. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that you could possibly just be eating too much. This would be for both the people who aren't losing any weight and the people who um, are actually gaining weight is because you seem to think that just because it's healthy, 
um, or just because it's a whole plant food means that it is like devoid of calories or something like that. And you can literally just sit there and eat and gorge yourself and not gain any weight. And that is not true. Obviously, because so many people are gaining weight when they are literally just sitting there gorging themselves on food. Again, I wanna clarify here that this is a big difference between people with eating disorders who actually, you're probably gonna go through a time of extreme hunger, which I've talked about in my other videos and I talk about in my Get Your Period Handbook, where you are going to eat a lot of food. So you might see that you're just like eating and eating and eating. That's completely different than somebody who hasn't really ever had that type of issue for an extended amount of time and they're just literally sitting there thinking the more bananas that i eat the skinnier i'm going to get and they will just sit there and try to hit like calorie minimums and they're listening to different advice from thousands of different people out there and they're just sitting there just eating just for the sake of eating and they're wondering why they're gaining weight um, and they're eating way more than they ever have yes when you eat whole plant foods you are going to have to eat a larger volume of food, okay? Because they're so calorically dense. But at the same time, you don't have to go gorge yourself, okay? And your body will tell you, am I hungry? Am I satisfied? Like, do I need more? Do I need less? Like, listen to your body. Don't keep trying to follow these apps and all that kind of stuff. Because that's just, especially if you're literally just sitting there, just eating and eating and eating all day long. It shouldn't be like that. You should eat and then when you get satisfied, you wait and then you eat again when you're hungry again. It's really not that difficult. And a lot of people are just messing with their own hunger cues and their own like satisfaction cues because they're totally just in some other la la land, just eating just for the sake of eating. For the third reason, this would be for people who are not losing any type of weight, like they're not at their goal body or they haven't lost all their belly fat or they're still stuck at the same weight they were a few years ago or whatever and they're still eating legit like whole plant foods is for the fact that you are at your good weight. Like this is your weight. This is the weight that your body likes to be at. If you're like firing on all cylinders, you feel good, you have energy, your hormones are working correctly, like everything's going good and you're eating a good sustainable amount of food for your body and for your activity level and you're maintaining your weight and you're exercising and you feel great and everything, but you're just like, I just, I'm not happy. Like I wanna lose more weight or whatever. And you can't because you're like, well, the only way I'm gonna be able to lose weight is if I cut my calories more. Yeah, you might lose weight for a very short amount of time, but at the same time, like you're going to eventually rebound from that, right? Because you can't, you can't sustain that for a long time, especially as you keep dropping your calories lower and lower and lower. Answer for you guys is that you're most likely already at the weight that your body likes to be at. And if you're eating whole plant foods, your body will naturally level off at a very healthy, sustainable weight for you, okay? And this is what's so difficult for so many people to understand is that they think that they see Susie over here on the internet or you know on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever and she's skinny and all this kind of stuff and she eats this, so why shouldn't I look like her? Well, guess what? You're not Susie and you're never gonna be Susie. And your body naturally likes to be where you are right now. Now, does that mean as time goes on that things won't change? No, based off of the past of other people who have been long-term um, whole food plant eater people or whatever, they're naturally very thin and very healthy and very fit. But at the same time, like some of them aren't real thin all the time. And if that's your only goal and that's that all that you care about, then this is not really working for you. Like you have different issues going on in your life that need to be addressed other than just eating whole plant-based foods. So the reason why I say all this is because it's, there seems to be this obsession with everyone wanting to be thin, 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 like especially right now. And you forget that you might have come from a past of disordered eating. Um, maybe you're coming from a past of just gorging yourself on food. And maybe you're at just a really good weight right now that your body's just like, I feel really good. And maybe over the next few months, maybe the next few years, like I'll slowly start to shed weight. But don't forget where you have come from, okay? All the damage that you've done to your metabolism, all the damage that you've done to your like your psyche and just the way that you think about food and all the stress that you're putting on yourself with exercise, that could be another issue. Like if you're going crazy with the exercise and you're wondering why you're not losing weight, your cortisol could be sky high right now. So my biggest tip is number one, if you're coming from this passive restriction and all that type of stuff, you need to understand like you're going to gain weight regardless of what you eat. When you start eating more food than just starving yourself, 
you're naturally going to gain weight. And that is a very, very serious on this for people who need to gain weight. So I highly encourage you to check that out. Um, there's like a few different videos that I did on that whole series. The second thing is for you people who are just sitting there gorging yourself just for the sake of gorging. Like you don't even know what hungry and what satisfied even is anymore. You're just eating just to eat. And that's not going to help you in any way, especially if you're continually gaining weight off of eating legit whole food plant-based. So I have a whole another series for you guys. It's the um, series about how to lose weight in a very healthy way. And then also you can check out the normal eating series. I think that would really help a lot too. And then lastly, there's you guys out there who want, like you're maintaining your weight, everything's great, but you're just, you wish you looked different or you wish you had lower body fat or you wish this, 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 and this. And my encouragement to you is to just honestly love yourself right now where you are. Be happy that you're healthy. Be happy and appreciative that your body is working great. You're eating a good, awesome, nutritious diet. You get to do exercise that you love. You're no longer restricting. You're no longer binging. Like you're just at a really good place and accept that and embrace that and love your body. Stop being so obsessed with everyone else. Stop being obsessed with the skinny girl that you see all the time and stop, you know, like trying to go from one diet to the next, to this, to this, to try to see how you can lose those last 10 pounds. Because honestly, all that stress is probably causing you to hold on to the weight that you actually want to lose. Keep jumping around. Don't keep yo-yoing. Stick with it, stay with it. Eat predominantly whole foods that are plant-based and give it some time, you know? Do the things that you love, don't stress about it because if it's only about your weight and if it's only about the way that you look, you're going to constantly be living like this forever. I mean, do you really wanna do that? I, I personally don't, like I don't wanna go through my whole life being obsessed with my weight and the way that I look. I wanna be able to be at a point like I am right now where it's just like, you know what? I get to eat awesome food and I get to eat until I'm satisfied. I don't have to count calories. I don't have to count macros. I don't have to worry about like running for miles and miles and miles just to burn calories. Like I can just do exercise that I like. I can eat the foods that I like. I can eat until I'm satisfied. I can, you know, eat when I'm hungry. I don't feel like I'm on some regimen. Like it's just normal and it's natural. And that's the place that you want to be at. And when you get there and you accept your body and you love your body, whether you have cellulite or stretch marks or belly fat or flabby arms or whatever, like, and you love yourself for who you are, you're going to feel awesome and it's gonna be an enjoyable ride. The stress is going to lower and you might even shed some weight or you might not, like, it doesn't matter either way. Don't focus on the weight, focus on your health. That is the biggest thing about this. I know a lot of you guys struggle with that, um, but, those are the top three things. So if you're in any one of those camps, keep going and change some stuff up if you need to, but realize that this is a marathon, okay? It's not a sprint and it's gonna take some time, especially if you're coming from disordered eating, whether it's restriction or binging or both or whatever, and just love yourself first. That is the whole thing. Love your body, accept your body, and be thankful and appreciative that it does the things that it does, okay? So hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.